Okay, here we are with the next video. So we're going to be jumping straight into door panels for the Vanagon. Now I went ahead and used 5mm thick under laminate. Uh, this is kind of the ugly side of it, but it's pretty simple. I basically just uh, grabbed the old panels, set them on top of the under laminate, traced them out, and cut it out with a router. Um, you could use a jig or something like that, but the router actually made the edges pretty smooth. And then threw on some stain. I did a couple, and also my girlfriend Bailey did a couple herself. I did the uh, front passenger and front driver panels, and then I also did the sliding door panel and the rearmost panel, which is on the hatch. I did the dark wood stain to kind of match the interior dark brown carpet. You also have to stain the edges of the panel because you actually see that when you mount it into the van and it's on the top edge. Now, basically all that's left is mounting in the van itself. My dad has his project going on over here with the Passat. All you basically have to do is screw them in. I used to make it look a little better than uh, just a normal screw was a little dress up washer and a flathead Phillips. This was my dad's idea and it turned out pretty well. Uh, the driver's side already completed and I went ahead and mounted it with the grab handle on the door panel and that held it in place to where I could get all the screws all the way around. Um, basically you just have to make sure you don't poke into an uh, existing hole, but I just guessed and got lucky with all of them, so I guess you go that way if you want to. Um, just got the right drill bit to where the screw is still grab, drill it into the panel, grab the screw, this is what I used, the tapered head, and then the dress up washer right here, both from Home Depot. And then just go ahead and screw it in and do that all the way around. I did about six or seven of them. I don't remember exactly. You'll be able to see right here. But yeah, just a few. Uh, you don't need too many. And it looks really great. And that is it for this side besides the bezel here and bezel here, which both just mount up as they normally would. Now for the finished project, I can show you that over on the driver's side. Give you a little walk around to the van also. You can see the paint is pretty messed up, but ended up just being fine. And here's the finished door panel. So I have all the bezels in and the crank handle and the vent all on. Turned out pretty good. I definitely like this color stain. I think it was uh, redwood, a dark redwood or something like that. If you were trying to get the same stain to match. But yeah, I definitely like how it turned out and I would definitely do them again and it should be a lot easier doing it a second time. Now that the door panels were complete, as you can see here in all the pictures, I moved on to the next thing, which was Land Rover mirrors. Now I got these from Bus Depot. I think they're about a hundred bucks or something. They just come with these little brackets, as you can see here, and then the mirrors themselves. They look a lot better in my opinion than the stock ones, and they just hold up a lot better, and they're just new and nice. They don't uh, flop around in the wind like it's very common as the stock ones do. As for the mounting, it's super simple. Literally just these two bolts go in here. They come with all the hardware, which is really nice, and it's not super cheap Allen bolts where they strip out like I hate. So yeah, just basically tighten those up to the bracket, just like that. And then you get this little foam. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to go like this, but this is how I did it. And go to the outside, put in the two in the stock location, and you're good to go. Literally immediately. 